I guess Ben got a new alien, and that alien is trash. <laughs> Come on, guys, it's not that funny. Hey, guys, what's up? Sermo11 here, and Cartoon Network hates Ben 10. The new Ben 10 series has officially launched on American TV, and, well, it's not that good. There have been reboots or remakes of cartoons in recent years with Teen Titans Go and the Powerpuff Girls. Now we have Ben 10, and out of the three of these, this is the one that really hurt me. Ben 10 is one of Cartoon Network's longest series, and I was with the show since the beginning. I did not finish Omniverse because I was at college, and Cartoon Network decided to air the final episodes very fast. But despite that, Ben 10 was one of my favorite cartoons of all time. It was really just a good show with really good concepts, and I liked how the show went from Ben, Gwen, and Grandpa Max to Ben, Gwen, and Kevin. We also had the combo of Ben and Rook for Omniverse, which was okay. So, Cartoon Network has this new version of Ben 10, and Ben and Gwen are kids again, and of course they're on summer vacation with Grandpa Max. And this show just jumps in, and I don't know if that's okay to do. Ben 10's plot for the original series, or even the 2016 series, is very easy to explain, and I don't understand why Cartoon Network didn't have an introduction episode. So, one day a boy finds a watch in the forest that crashed from space. This watch attaches itself to the boy, and he gains the ability to turn into 10 different aliens. As he is on summer vacation with his family, he protects the world from villains and other threats. There's no first episode covering that in the 2016 version, and I don't know why. What I've been able to gather so far from the show is that he hasn't had the watch for too long, as he's still discovering some of the aliens on the watch. Some of the plots from the reboot include Ben and Gwen getting turned into babies, Ben and Gwen meeting some kids similar to them, and one of them is a child that can use a robot suit which Ben fights, and of course, the filth which I did a review on in which Ben fights a maggot monster. Yeah. The plots seem pretty dumb and overly childish. Kids can handle mature cartoons with good plots, but it seems like Cartoon Network is having trouble understanding that, and they've had trouble understanding that for years. The art style is very cartoony. That may be a strange thing to say since Ben 10 has always been a cartoon, but the original had a more serious art style that looked like an action show or a comic book. I think in this case the art style directly relates to the tone of the show. The art style looks like a bad version of Gravity Falls, and Omniverse also had some silly moments and it had a strange Scooby-Doo art style, so there you go, there's a relationship between the new series and there's a relationship with the previous series. If you haven't watched the show already, take a quick look at it. Within the first few minutes, I'm sure you'll notice how different things are if you did watch the original Ben 10 series. The show feels like a comedy first and an action show second. The action in the show is not really engaging. There may be a reason for this and I'll cover this in more detail in a future video, but it seems like Cartoon Network is favoring shows without a plot so they can air them however they want. Back in the day, Ben 10 had a plot and it was great. They still aired the show, but the new Ben 10 is being spammed just like Teen Titans Go. Ben's original lineup of aliens has changed. Stinkfly has been redesigned. Upgrade has been redesigned. Wildvine, Overflow, and Cannonbolt are now part of the lineup, and these aliens were all aliens he obtained later in the series. It's funny when you think about it. In the original series of Ben 10, the original lineup of aliens was supposed to be something different, and while the original lineup is iconic, I'm pretty sure they could switch out any alien and just change their backstory, and that could be the original 10 aliens that Ben had. Wildvine and Cannonball are from later on in the original series. Overflow or Water Hazard was introduced in Ben 10 Ultimate Alien. Ben 10 is one of those shows that always likes to call back to the original, which people probably consider to be the best in the series. They did a lot with Omniverse, often revisiting Ben as a 10 year old and adding more onto the plot because of 10 year old Ben. And Ben 10 2016 has done that completely by rebooting the entire show. Voice actor Tara Strong returns to voice Ben 10, but that doesn't really help the show out at all. Gwen and Grandpa Max have different voice actors for some reason, which makes the show less enjoyable. And there are callbacks to the entire Ben 10 franchise in the form of cameos. Characters show up in different forms at points in Ben 10 2016, so if you are watching Ben 10 2016, you have that to look forward to. And I hate to say this so bluntly, but this show is terrible. 
who thought this was a good idea. It's very clear that Cartoon Network is out to get the show or they just want to hurt their own business. I can't even believe Man of Action is working on this show. I know at some point Man of Action wasn't working on Ben 10, and maybe they shouldn't be. Ben 10 was created by Man of Action, and I believe they only worked on the original series. If they did work on later things, I'm sorry I didn't get my facts straight, but I believe they only worked on the original series, and everything after the original series was still good except this reboot, but they're working on this reboot, which is really weird. Because the original show is great, and it's a classic, but what is this trash that is known as Ben 10 2016? Cartoon Network has to hate Ben 10. The show just doesn't work at this point. If you quickly Google Ben 10 2016, you can see that the ratings for this show are terrible. And the funny thing about this whole situation is that they're advertising the show, and it's still doing bad. Take a look at Adult Swim, which is hosted on the same channel, and they advertise their big shows a lot. Cartoon Network rarely advertises for Adventure Time or Steven Universe. It's usually only for a big event that is story-driven, unlike Ben 10 or Teen Titans Go. And maybe I'm taking this too personally because I was a huge huge fan of Ben 10, but why else would Cartoon Network destroy one of its longest shows? They made it kitty. The writing seems to have changed. The art doesn't look good. And overall, this show is just bad and I don't know why. I'd love a sequel to Omniverse. I'd love to keep Ben 10 going, but not this way. Destroying Ben 10 like this is pointless and it hurts. What do you think about Ben 10 2016? Is it as bad as I'm making it seem? Should Omniverse get a sequel or should Ben 10 just end right here? Anyways, that's it for me. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. If you like my content and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and like me on Facebook. The links are below. I'm SirMo11. See you next time and peace out.